The franchise owner of all five North Texas Alamo Draft House locations filed for bankruptcy. Every location closed, and the news came abruptly for employees, for customers, and business partners. Today, Fox Sports Blake Hansen has more on the ripple effect that the closures are having. Blake. Yeah, Heather and Steve, the uh, location here in Richardson was Alamo's first foray into North Texas, and it recently got some big economic help from the city here to renovate. Uh, while the franchisee now is closing up shop, some are hopeful that these Alamos will one day reopen. Posted outside North Texas's Alamo Draft Houses Thursday was not another movie poster, but a goodbye. Yeah, this is um, a pretty sad day for a company that is arguably that had arguably tried to be the best theater that there was. Andrew Dobbs says he's worked for Alamo since 2018. He says he, like others, got no heads up that they would be losing their jobs. The note to staff says they can go through the courts to get any money owed. I personally will not jump through those hoops to get my last four or five hundred bucks, whatever it is. Like I've already accepted that money's gone. My PTO that I had build up is gone. Uh, my health insurance is gone, just like everybody else. Longtime patrons also found the news shocking. I'm really fond of the theater. Um, I subscribe because I want to support the industry. I want movie theaters in my town in Richardson. In a news release, the operator of the five North Texas Alamo Draft House locations, as well as one Minnesota location, said it's filing for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. The locations aren't directly operated by Alamo Draft House and instead had a franchise owner. That owner blamed COVID as well as the recent Hollywood actors and writers strikes. It also blamed high franchise fees and contractual obligations that it says forced it to keep unprofitable locations open. Alamo's corporate office called the closures disappointing and said, we are working as quickly as possible to get Alamo Drafthouse Cinema back up and running in these cities. We were very surprised when we heard uh, the news. Richardson city leaders say they learned the news just like everyone else Thursday. Earlier this year, the city awarded the Richardson location $400,000 to renovate and help solidify growth in the surrounding area. Many businesses located in the Heights so they could be adjacent to Alamo. And so we felt uh, it would be critical to help Alamo be successful and to help them remain a key uh, anchor tenant to uh, the shopping center. The city says it can try to claw back dollars already paid out to Alamo, but it is hopeful it might reopen. We're most hopeful that we can work with uh, Alamo corporate um, and find a solution to bring Alamo back to the location. But if that isn't possible, then we will be exercising our right to claw back uh, the contribution that we made to the project. Alamo has been the anchor here at the shopping center for so many years. I was just dumbfounded to find out. For business owners in the shadow of the theaters, there's hope this is not a curtain call. This particular location would get very busy on the weekends. Um, last summer when the Barbie movie was released, I felt like it was a breath of fresh air to see so many people coming to the movies again. So I hope, I hope that returns. For its part, the franchisee for these locations says he did try to get in touch with all 600 plus of its employees before the news broke today. Uh, if you do have a season pass, a gift card, you book tickets, it is recommending you contact Alamo's corporate offices in Austin for help resolving that matter, according to the franchisee.